Well, shoot, I didn't even have a time for my introduction here. I'm gonna get behind yeah, you. Yeah, female, female black bear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave her be unless she decides to make a play for me. Okay. I which she may be about to do. Still won't see her, but I, you know, I never question anything that you say about seeing an animal. Yep, she's moving across to the right. She should be coming out on the right side of the pine tree. Oh, that's, I see her now. Yeah, uh, you, you see her. Yeah. I think she'll. I think she'll keep moving. But that's the bear we kept hearing. Yeah, right. I, think, I think she's just kind of. Yeah. Moseying by. Oh shit. Oh nope. Here she comes. Oh oh shit. I've. You got her. I think I did. I think I hit her. Yeah. Somebody shot her in the butt. <laughs> I wasn't. I think I fired over her. I don't. I wasn't able to get a distance, so I was just kind of guessing. <laughs> I need to. I need to actually check this bow and see what it's. Well, I'm going to do a quick introduction since that. <laughs> okay, give me give me just one second here to get this info, and then because I want to get in on on the intro, of course. Sure. Twenty meters, forty meters, sixty meters. Okay. Twenty, forty, sixty. All right. Yeah, we'll just let her. Run That's it what off. I needed to know. Uh, well, guys, <laughs> that was the strangest introduction I've ever had. We were uh, getting prepared, and we got, uh, well, a black bear just walked up on us, and she was going to go for us. So we had no other option but to shoot. I think the lock was shot. You missed her? Is that right? Yeah, I've got a bow here I haven't used before, and I wasn't sure what my pin distances were. And so I think I shot over her back, but I think you put a crossbow bolt square in her tailbone. Yeah, I was no, I was eyeballing it. I have no idea how far away. You said sixty meters. Yeah, I think I think she was was eighty feet out. Okay, well, shoot, it's anybody's guess what happened. Oh, well, anyway, <laughs> yeah. I, th I I saw the I saw the bolt in her. Okay, so you hit her for sure. Just a matter of you, well, you did say just before we started. Well, I'd really like to get a black bear. That's oh, and there's true. that buck. You sneaky devil, you. Where that's are you? That's yours. That's yours. I've already got my Yeah, he's, he's down the hill. I yeah, think I've, I'll see if I can get eyes on him. Well, I've but, got my combination uh, gun here, and as you well know now, I've got my cro uh, crossbow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Got my forty four Magnum, but uh, Dula's going to go after this whitetail here, and hopefully... I'm, gonna, gonna I'm just going to see if I, can, if I can get eyes on him real quick down there. I got him. Um, Low See down. if he's if he's monstrous, I'll go after him. If he's not, we'll we'll chase down your bear first. Well, today I'm hunting with my uh, with my dragon compound. Usually I use my recurve, but by God, it was on sale, and I've been waiting. So there you go. And uh, the Parker Python, any skill you've developed to the Parker Python transfers across to it. So that's pretty dandy dandy. Oh yeah. And uh, I have, of course my lever action thirty out six as always, and I'm carrying my Basanti pistol. For close encounters with bears, and didn't want to crack that off right off the the bat and chase off everything in the neighborhood. So, gotcha. Now I'm um, carrying my 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. <laughs> well, yeah, it it was until Basante until that Basante came along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's out on a little island out there. He's quite a ways out, actually. Let's see if I can get eyes on him, but. Uh, yeah, we ha we finally had had a chance to cross paths when we both had some time free. So I'm really looking forward to to this hunt this evening. Yeah, me too. I've really been looking forward to. It. I don't know. We, you know, real life always enters in. You know. <laughs> and yeah, life gets in the way. Messes with your gaming time. It just. <laughs> Well, we're going to see what he can do with that. And hopefully, he can get on us on that son of a gun. Yeah, I'm sure my uh, bear has run off. But if I hit her decent, she might bleed out. And given enough time, she might just go down quietly. If this guy would give me, give me one more... One more snort, I could pin him down. Um, oh shit! There's a white tail doe real close. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a she. She's out there 
about 86 feet from me, walking right towards me. Great. Yeah. It's that darn aftershave again. Well, you can't help being so sexy to the deer, man. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, it's... My favorite hunting aftershave is called Buck and a Half. <laughs> and you want to be more than a buck. <laughs> uh, okay, so he's he's crossing, he's wandering back and forth out there, I do believe. But I'm not, but he's far enough out that I, he's, he's 500 meters out. So I can't see what his rack is like. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to take a look over here and see if I can't see. Yeah, see if you got yourself some blood. Yeah. Or is that a, or is that a doe out there? I think that may be, actually be a doe. Okay, there's something over here. Let me check this out. This may be her. Going prone here so that this doe wanders by me. Let's see what we got here. Come on, Mr. Buck. Give okay, me one more Okay, these are bear tracks. Black bear roaming. So she went. Well, like way. I say, I I saw the crossbow bolt in her in her rear quarter. So you definitely hit her. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can't pick up our next track here. Come on, Buck. Give me a snort. Wait for this doe to pass me so I can move up. Cause I I think. If if that was if that was the buck, he's just a, a little fella. Yeah. But I think it was actually a doe. So we started out up up on the hilltop on the west side of the map and uh started out at six AM, which is a little bit early usually, but over on this side it's just about right for the whitetail to be moving in the swamp, so yeah, yeah. We should have lots of whitetail action, and, and of course the bears are, are up and about. This rain is actually doing us some good here. It's keeping us under the radar. I'm not there sure you're going to believe... Oh, there. yep, there's the blood. I found it. Yep. And... Yeah, he's, he's just a little forkhorn, so I'm not, I'm not going to harass him. If I go for a buck, I'm going to go for a proper buck. Unless it was a different buck that snortified, because he's he's only he's only seventy eighty five kilograms. His scar would be twenty five to sixty five, so he's just just he's, a little bitty fella. I was gonna say he's he's a baby. Yeah, he's he's not a buck. He's a fifty cent piece. <laughs> well, oh, it's good to be hunting with you, bud. Yeah, it's been too long. We get. Like I said, it, I hate the fact that we have to get so damn busy. Yeah. But it happens. And I'm, I feel bad about the the dual universe, you know, the dual universe game, but I just don't think I'm not that coordinated with those <coughs> type of games. Well, and and not only that, but it's one of those games that that takes a real investment of time to get anything accomplished. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, there's there's two bucks down there, and they're both just little little four corns. So yeah, I come join back up with you here. That doe has finally moved on, so okay. I shouldn't spook her. I think I might. I think she might be down because I'm getting a black circle now. Yeah, and she keeps bleeding, like you know they do right before they die. Mm-hmm. So just kind of letting her walk it off is probably a good idea. Oh, she's yep. real close now. Okay, did she go up or down? That's the question. Can't tell. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll find her one way or the other. Oh, shit. There she is. She's okay. still up? She's still up. She's walking. She didn't hear me. Oh. There she goes. She's going to charge. Oh, I just heard her. And she's down. Okay. Nice. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> she was pissed. 
<laughs> she was not happy. Oh boy. That could have gotten ugly real fast, but you know me with the crossbow. She's going to get in my path. She's going down. Yep, yep. Let's see what she is here. Yep, that's her. First hit body, and then I hit her in the skull, shoulder blade, left lung, liver, stomach. That did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just plain quarter on that one. So she was a 15.748, and I'm not sure. Ooh, that's that's pretty all right for, for a female black bear. Is it? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a trophy shot of her. She's. There is. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You want to get on it? Oh, yeah. Get... Oh, oh, you. Well, uh, I guess I guess thumbnail time, huh? Oh hell yeah! Let's see. Let me get her up here. Uh, okay, let's see. Yep, right where you're at, it's good. I can get her face up here. Spin us around. Yeah, and looks like she's a chocolate. Is she? She's, I'm not sure. She might be. She's she's awful brown. Yeah. She might be a chocolate. Okay, there we go. It's a little dark. She's I'm she's virgin on the chocolate at the very least. Well, so that that got you your bear right off the bat. That's dandy. Awesome. Um, Ooh, so just... if we uh, pop the map, um, yeah, I'm gonna set a marker here. Basically, if if we really want to give you a good chance at at more black bear and stuff, we should. Uh, head on down to the swamp going down kind of this way and then work our way like that so there you go you should be able to see that yeah i got it that's that's a pretty good path um a lot of times we'll we'll go down and we'll actually cross the river to the right but that's if we're really focused on white tail yeah. um but i i th i haven't walked this particular route in a while so i think I think this is this is a good choice. It's going to put us potentially on elk, lots of black tail, um, a few white tail out there. There should be moose and, of course, black bear galore once we get down near the more uh, river part of things. So, well, I tell you, not at the very end of where you were. Oh wow, well, there's a moose. Did moose on the loose. Yeah, he's down down at the stream down here. Holy crap! Might as well step over and and get a look. Well, let me get down the crouch here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's right. With the rain, it's not quite so big a deal. Yeah. But uh, I've got I've got moose scent and a moose collar on me, so. I don't think I have moose juice. I couldn't. I I don't think I have enough. I can't carry it. I think I'm overweight. Yep. Well, I've got I've got the moose juice and the the collar, and we'll get a look at him and see how he looks. Uh, this this side of things, most of the moose around here aren't much to write home about mm. um, until you get farther up into the swamp. Then then the marsh up there, sometimes you'll get some real nice ones. But uh, white rhyme is definitely the big the big moose haven. Oh yeah, definitely. You know this this used to be the spot. Come come to Red Feather Falls to get a big moose, but. They're nothing here in comparison to White Rhyme. Yeah, White Heart has them, don't. If I'm not mistaken, isn't White Heart? Yep, yep. Yeah. White Heart's got them, and uh, well, here's here's his track right here. As a matter yeah. of fact, I get say, a read on him. I was getting a glow there. Three hundred to five twenty. Whoa, shit! So he could actually be a, a decent moose. There's a little stand up in a tree that's directly across from here that that can be a real good spot for moose but all of this right in here is excellent moose territory all that's right, what i like about red feather falls is it has a nice balance of and variety of of species you know yeah there's a doe somewhere is he up the stream a little bit or or Hold what on, here let me see here okay. Where's my binoculars here? Okay. See if he's in the mist on the opposite bank. He might be blending in. It's kind of hard to but see. He, yeah, he called from 
from down in here. So he's somewhere close by. It's just a matter of where. Wait a minute. What's that? Uh, I don't know. Why is it glowing? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Don't know. They like to... to angle up the the hillside there up towards where that stand is yeah but you know of course they also like the big water out here so oh, shit. we've got a decent white tail crossing out there about about 800 meters out or 800 feet out we got yeah. a doe walking up on us yeah i see it what? yeah he's he's looking like a halfway decent white tail i'm just going to ease up and see if that Moose came around the corner here. I'm not seeing any sign of him. Come on, Moose. Give us another sound. For some reason, I can't get locked on him. I don't know why. That's a distance shot right there. <laughs> yeah, in fact, looks like there's multiple white tails. There's a doe. He's, and a buck. He's, he's not a bad buck. 50. Wait a minute. I had a reading on him. He went behind the tree and I lost it. Wait a minute. There it is. Yep. Oh, yeah, female. 734 feet. So it don't want to buck down there, but that moose on the loose that I'm curious about could could be getting you a nice moose with your crossbow. Well. And there's there's that doe. She's, I mean, literally holy crap. right there. <laughs> She's going to walk right up and kiss you on the nose. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Marty Moose, give us another holler. Girl, what are you doing? There she goes. Yeah. I don't think she'll scare anything within, you know. I don't think yeah, I didn't I didn't see anything bust out across the way, so the moose might have actually been working his way up the stream. But, yeah, I mean, it. of course, I, I always I always love taking a white tail, but I think, I think if we stick to our plan and head to the swamp, we might run into that moose along the way. He might give us another beller. Yeah, I'm, until we know for sure. It's too foggy. Yep. Well, like I say, he was he was all right, but you know, certainly certainly not a champion whitetail. And if he was a champion whitetail, well, then I'd have I'd have, you know, seen about taking a crack at him. But he's he's upper end of average, so and he's close now. Yes, he is. So he probably crossed and worked his way into the woods on the other side. Once we top this little ridge, we'll see. We'll know if he's out there or not. He's meandering around somewhere out there. Oh, wait a there, minute. there he is, right there. Yeah, he's a little bullwinkle moose. I see. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's got those bullwinkle horns. He's. You want him? Nah, nah. I wouldn't waste an arrow on him. Let him go. You think? It's up to you, man. If you if you wanna wanna whack him, nice shot. That looked like it was right on the money. And, and there was another one up one. the hill. I was, yeah, two of them. Yeah. Damn. Shoot, we could have got a double on that one. Yeah, that that looked like it was like it was a, a really good hit right on the money. Well, I was right in the pocket, so. Yep. I saw the fur fly when the arrow hit, and it looked like it was dead on the mark. He might go away, little ways, but not, let's see, is that his? Yep. That's not it. It must be over here. Hold on. Yeah. Yep, oh, there's blood. My, my moose tracking just hit level 13. Says intestines. I'm surprised. You it, you might be getting the blood from the exit wound because I'm guarantee at that at that range you punched all the way through him with that. Okay, he's bleeding pretty heavily. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out up the hill so we don't get a rude awakening from the others that were in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's all we need is to get charged while we're trying to chase down the other one. There's a buck, dude. Yep, he is literally right there. What's the range on him? Oh, shoot. Go ahead and get him. I'll stay still. In fact, I'll even go prone. 123. Oh, he's he's itty-bitty fella. Really? In fact, he's, yeah, yeah, he's another 70, 70 to 85 kilogram. Oh. 
with a little four corners there. That's too bad. Damn, I'm sorry. I was He's pretty. Well, He's pretty, but... Let him I grow think, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a little four corn. We'll, we'll let him get bigger. If we were eating them, it'd be a different story, but... Nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like my pie used to say, we don't eat them horns. That's right. He is just bleeding all over the place. I don't imagine... Yeah, you... Must. You punched him good. It's just a matter of how far he decides to go. Well, I've lost the... Okay, where's the next one? I've literally had one about every few feet, and then it stopped. Okay, where to go? Well, the train's kind of changed, so... That is a doe. All right. Trap here. He may have zigged. And uh, um, he probably went down the hill here. You think? Okay. Yeah, considering his his previous previous. Uh, oh, I see path, it now. I see it now. Okay. It probably is somewhere down here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's so. That's a different track. Yeah, that's a white tail track there. Yeah, I'm getting some pretty big glows on these now, so. Yeah, he definitely went this way. There he is. He's dead. He's down. Awesome. He is down. Oh, yep. He looks like Bullwinkle, all right. <laughs> He's big for Bullwinkle. Yeah, he's he's good body size, but just his horn development is low. Right yeah. at the top of the hill. Right at the top of the hill, 355 feet up. Uh, what is it, a white tail? Uh, no, it's a, it's one of the moose that ran. He's, eh, again, he's got much better horn development than the one that, that you just took down. But, again, he's he's not much anything to write home about unfortunately yeah. i could take him with the uh, 30 out six from here but i'd rather not spook everything in the neighborhood yeah well he's I'll, a little little far out for the compound i'll go ahead and pick this one up and yeah 101 yeah he's i still take a trophy shot so i at least get a good pick yeah i mean size wise he's a pretty good looking fella yeah yeah, body wise, he's he's got good development, but horn wise, not so much. And I'll keep an eye out for this other fella just in case he decides to get moosey on us. <laughs> that's kind of a good pick. Yep. Yep, that's good. And that's that doe down there. Oh, All there's right. another white tail out that. there. That's another little forkhorn. Wow, all the all the white tails this morning are just little bitty fellas. Huh. Well, I would imagine we'd probably just go right up over the hill again. So there's that third moose. So there were, there were two of them that ran away up the hill when you took the shot on that one. Um, so... One may have gone over the hill towards the river. You might want to check your uh, scent suppression. Mine's got like six minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. I don't we're know I don't probably know when, getting close. I don't know yep. when you did yours, but... Yep. It was literally just running out. Yeah, I wish I had a little more warning on that. Sometimes I forget. I get too, I get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm smelling like a goat walking through a. <laughs> yep. So this 
that fellow that was up there, he was 380 to 450. So, so the one that, that we originally got the call on, he's probably going to be the best of, of all of them so yeah. far when, when if we manage to run into him again. Well, we can just set up the same way we were. I mean... Yeah, basically, I'm at this point, I'm moving towards the last, the last dung pile we had on him. Yeah. And... That'll that'll lead us up in into the the swamp where the rest of the goodies are. So, yeah, Is yeah, correct. Yeah, it's it's looking like like he basically circled around and head back the other direction. So, I think even though he's he's got a good looking track, I, we were we were swamp hunting today. So yeah. I'm good to well. He's so close. there's another track. Yeah, there's another there's another track up. Oh, guess what? That's him. Holy crap! Where is? Okay, he's behind us. How'd you do that? Is that him? Yep, another mystery moose with mysterious powers. That Jesus. was indeed him. Holy crap! Okay, how did he do that? So he, <laughs> so he circled back and crossed. Uh, and we've got the mystery moose is loose. Yep. We got a deer up the hill here. You have magical it, Jedi it, powers there. there that <laughs> that is that is a that is a decent buck. Go ahead that and get him because I've already shot mine. Sixty-eight feet. Do you need me to spot you? I should be good. Okay. Oh, I got. I shot right over his back. Oh man! So the. the the problem that I'm having is that my binoculars are measuring in feet, but my pins are set in meters. Oh, God. I wonder if there's a, a way to, to change that. So so he was 30 meters out. He, he was an R8 buck, but... So you just spooked him? You didn't hit him at all? Yeah, yeah. It went right over his back. Shit. Right over his back. But, you know, the, the, thing, the thing is that you know, I've been hunting with the recurve with without a sight for so long that that using the sight again is <laughs> actually <laughs> proven itself to be a bit of a struggle here. I run into the same problem with. There's just some guns that I use. I cannot use a scope. It throws me off so bad that I can't hit the side of a barn. But when I just have iron sights, I can yep. nail it every time. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what do we have right out there? Is... Right off the shore, I suppose he's probably in the reeds where I can't actually see him, huh? Yep. So I can I can see him out there when the reeds aren't rendered in, but when I put up the binoculars, yeah, I don't can't see tell if it's a buck or a doe. Yeah, he was he was an all right buck. All right, we got the moose's track out here. Might as well stay on his track. But okay, is that what? I'm not sure what I've got locked on there. I think it's still the moose. Yeah, this is this is the moose's track again. And then he turned and and came this way. But let, let me ask you: Do you remember a sh a movie that came out in the seventies called Challenge to Be Free? Oh, you know it sure sounds familiar. It had it was about was this, that was, about the young man who went into the Alaskan wilderness? Well, he was in the Alaskan wilderness. He was a trapper. He wasn't a young man. Yeah, but he, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I absolutely loved that as a kid, and he used to travel, he had like a lynx that lived in his cabin, and he traveled with yep. this wolf, and they were chasing him down because he accidentally shot somebody. It's supposed to be based on a true story, but he had this way with animals. He could, you know, interact with moose and bear and just yep. about anything, and they just... Yeah. 
Yeah, I remembered it. It was set in Alaska, but that's about all I remember. Yeah, his name was Trapper. That's all I remember. Yeah. He was this big guy that used to play in a lot of um, other shows. He he was like in Gilligan's Island. He played like Igor and uh, Gilligan's Island. He played other things. But he was a big old guy and kind of, you know, ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, now he's going up this way. Yeah. And the gap between us is good. It means we'll keep our noise to a minimum. And you get eyes on him and he looks good. You you go ahead and take him. All right, I'm looking. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I take shit. it you spotted him? <laughs> no, this is not. A, this is a deer. Uh, hold on. Might be that buck I took a poke at a little bit earlier. Okay, he disappeared. I don't know where he went. Maybe he saw me. I don't know. He might have seen me. I didn't. I wasn't expecting him, and he just—he was just there. Nope, he hasn't yeah. seen me yet. He went down into like a. Yeah, it's a little guy. Oh, it's one one of those little four corners that was wandering over here. And I hit him right in the chest. He won't last. Shoot! Now I gotta hunt him. I tell you what, I'm gonna stay here so that you can keep on this track. Okay, I'll I'll stay on the moose track if you want to police him up. Okay, because he won't go far, believe me. I hit him pretty damn hard. It was pretty... <laughs> and he's like right there. I mean, there's no way I couldn't have missed him. Alright, let's see here. Heart lungs. <laughs> you knew it. Didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we got a lot of up and down right here, so it might be a little bit tough. To, oh, no, nope, there it is. Yeah, he might was... be a little tough to pick up his next one, but here it is. Looks looks like he's circling the backside of the hill to head down into the swamp. So, well, it's taken us forever just to get off the hill here. There's been so many animals this morning. I know. That's... It's been very active. Well, and it, and it is the reason why I've got got the tent on this hill because it's always good for whitetail you get your black bears up here and of course there's tons of moose on the loose damn he's tough he went and good we're, distance for getting hit that hard you he's know we're a, also right on the border of the blackdale territory here too yeah so. I'm surprised he made that far maybe I just hit one lung But he's leaving blood at every place I find, so. Oh, yeah, that, that crossbow is monstrous. Okay, where'd he go? Holy shit. Okay, there it is. Damn, this guy's tough. He's got some... Well, remember if you if you hit them where where the shoulder meets the neck, you'll get heart lung, but they tend to run a bit, yeah, a bit longer. So that's a that's a possibility. Let's say but that's kind as of as you said, you might have you might have got him through one lung. Yeah. No, I knew I got him good, but. For the amount of blood he's leaving, <laughs> maybe youth helps. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's another dome. Okay, hold on. He's not going as far now. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk. I think he's pretty much done for. Let's see. All right, and there's that moose he just called from I think that's down him. on the shoreline down there. So he was headed pretty much where I figured. Yeah, here he is. I found him. You got him? Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a little pronghorn. He's big, though, for a pronghorn, I swear. Yeah, 34. 75.5. K 
kilograms. Left lung, yeah, just hit one lung and stomach. Yeah, he's just a little fella. That's all, like you said, that's all we've really seen. We haven't seen anything really impressive. Yeah, there was that that w that white tail that white tail I missed was all right, but I'm gonna have to take the time to do my math next time I next time I get the spot on one. Yeah, I don't remember these binoculars reading in in feet, you know, which is kind of strange. But yeah, well. yeah. ah, there he is. And he is actually a, a all right moose. He is nothing like we we get in in white rhyme, but he's he's a good moose for this area. Cool. Oh God, bless it! The sun went behind the clouds. I had a good, well lit picture there. Come on, come on, sun. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. There we go. Ah, uh, shoot. Not getting quite the GMS on them I was hoping for. 